So, I kind of thought this video might be a little fun to make. Um, I might post it to Facebook, but might not. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit informative. Talking about uh, some differences in my helicopters that I've got here. I've, this isn't all I've got. I've, I've got some bigger ones too. I've got a Fusion 360 and a Fusion 480. I've got a Goblin 380. And I've had a T-Rex 450 Pro a long time ago. But anyway, <clears throat> back to the topic. So what I've got here. So like, <clears throat> I recently posted a video with uh, one of my new helicopters. And I was just uh, thinking that some people may be wondering why. I bought yet another helicopter when it seems to be some similar in the same size class as something I already have. Well, this is what's up. This one here is the Oxy215 Pro. This is actually a really nice little helicopter. I've got a lot of money into this. Good electronics all around. But the thing about it is, you see that there? That's a main gear. It's run on a belt. Belt goes through the boom. Runs to the tail through uh, a pulley and then you have trying to get it to focus here you have the slider on the shaft and yeah, I'm really having trouble slider on the shaft and it will slide back and forth here let me set this down and I'll show you what I mean so <clears throat> there we go that moves with that tail servo right there on the boom do this carbon fiber oops do this carbon fiber rod there's a good view of it anyway. <clears throat> so that's a whole lot of complicated mess right there, right? That's what I'm saying. So you got this main gear dri driven by that motor with a pinion, which runs the pulley through the tail belt. It's a whole system, right? It ends up being kind of loud because you get geared noise and stuff like that from the motor. Plus, with this fly barless system, the Icon 2, it's super programmable, very complicated. There's lots of little things to do in it to make, you know, to tune your helicopter. <clears throat> and the same thing with basically, well, not the same thing. This is just another example of a motor driven, but this one is a little less complicated than that because it has a tail motor. Comparison between this one, we're getting to that. <clears throat> Actually, we can go ahead and talk about that. That's, that works. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is the Blade MCPX. Motor driven, just like the other one. Old technology. Really old servos. This helicopter actually doesn't work at the moment. Replaced with this stuff. This, you can immediately see, has a massive motor right on it. There is no gear. There is no drive chain through the boom. This is just driven by another motor. The fly barless, while it is customizable, it is way dumbed down, but not bad. It's dumbed down for this particular helicopter, if you understand what I'm saying. So, you don't have as much gains and stuff like that to change. There are gains, but there's, there, uh, there isn't like sub-menus for each gain. You just have a 1 to 10, whereas the others are... Um, in some cases, negative 100 to positive 100 on these fly brother systems. So, as you can imagine, it uh, can take quite a while to get a good tune out of something like this. Whereas, the one behind it, the OMP M2, this is the one that I've just re recently purchased. As you can see, again, massive motor driving the main shaft, no gear, which means no gear gear train going through the boom just wires to the tail motor so yes I have two helicopters that essentially are exactly the same size well this one's 215 and this is 190 but the difference is minimal and the reason for that it's quite simple this one is so much easier to tune out of the box its part count is incredibly low the parts are cheap they come in two packs the list goes on and on and on. It just flies so wonderful out of the box without me having to spend hours and hours and hours tuning the Oxy. I love the Oxy. The Oxy came as a kit. It was really fun to build. This one did not come as a kit. But there are people 
who work a lot, and I just want to fly in my spare time, and I don't have time to tune these. So, yeah, I have two helicopters in the same <laughs> size class. Oh, also, this one's four cell, this one's three cell, too, so the batteries are a little cheaper. The other two have both run on two cell, very similar size. <clears throat> oh, and this is with this even being four cell, this one's still more powerful. This is still more of a powerhouse than that one because of this direct drive system that they've got. So that is pretty much why I bought another brand new helicopter in case anybody's wondering what the differences are. That's pretty much it uh, in a nutshell. It's the simplicity of the design, the ease of the programming of the flybarless system, and how well it actually performs. It is actually probably the best performing helicopter I've ever bought out of the box. All right, you guys. Yeah, have a good one. Oh, ah, one, one, one. No, actually, I'm going to show you something real quick, too. This was actually the Elegant White M2. I paint the tail boom, and I paint the skids, and I painted the canopy. Now, I used Mask Pro. RC car guys will understand what I'm saying. Uh, I put some stuff on it to cut, protect the uh, certain areas of it, and the line work could be better. And I might fix that with, like, a black pinstripe or something. But yeah, uh, the elegant white didn't show up very well, but I used fluorescent colors uh, from Horizon Hobby for RC car bodies. Come up with that. And this is beautiful in the air. All right, you guys. Have a good one.